Well, hello, hello, hello. Do I have a sweet treat for you today. Today, on this episode of Make Art with Mrs. M, I want to talk to you about an artist named Wayne Tebow. Wayne Tebow loved to draw sweet still lifes. He loved to do paintings of baked goods like cakes, pies, cookies, candied apples, ice creams, um, gumball machines, lollipops. Anything that was tasty and sweet seemed to find their way on the canvas, and he painted them with such, such beauty. There were rich colors. There was repetition. If you look here, there's um, four. Uh, I did four, but he did paintings that had way more than four here. Um, I, I'm so excited about this. To do a still life that shows something so yummy and delicious is just so enticing, and I'm so ready. I want to first do a quick review and reminder about how to draw things that look like they are more of a 3D form. When we start drawing these cakes and pies, they're going to have more than one side that we're going to be able to see, like a triangular prism, cube, and rectangular prism. Oftentimes, some of Wayne Tebow's um, cylinder cakes, his cakes were uh, repeated over and over in a painting, so he did plenty of cylinders. He often did things that looked like a sphere, like the candy apples, and um, triangular prism as well with all of the pies. And sometimes the slices of cake look like a triangular prism too. And so Wayne Tebow is our inspiration today. We're going to do cupcakes. Get ready. We're going to do some simple, sweet goodies in our still life. One thing that I, I liked is that um, there was repetition. You saw more than one. It wasn't just one cupcake. So today we're going to do three cupcakes. And here we go. I'm going to start closer to the um, bottom of the page with this cupcake, and I'm going to make a curved line, nice and big like that. Now, the next two are going to get higher up on the page and gradually a little bit smaller. So this is a nice big curve. I'm going to make a medium-sized curve and a smaller curve. So let's try and go up a little higher, and this curve is a little smaller and then go up a little higher, and this curve is even smaller, okay? Quite often he did things in a row that were all right across, straight across, but I wanted to add a little bit of more dynamics to our still life by making them going back into space a little ways. Okay, so uh, the cupcakes, uh, the bottom, yes, is sort of like a cylinder, so we're going to add some straight sides uh, they're going to curve in just a little ways, and there. I think I'm going to make this one a little bit longer, taller, okay. Now I'm going to repeat this curve from the top on the bottom. All right. Next, I'm going to add the icing, and that's the best part. There's a bakery near, near where I live that has icing piled up on top of those cupcakes, and it looks like soft serve ice cream on top. It looks like ice cream on top, but it's just the sweetest, most delicious ice cream. Okay, so I have those how I want them. I'm going to add some big mounds of icing by putting curves and adding more curves and then adding a big curve at the top that connects down and connects here. So it's lots and lots of mounds of delicious icing. Okay, do it again. This one's going to be a little bit smaller because it's a little bit further away. Here we go. And the smallest one. Adding some curves and then making that little peak on top. 
Okay, I'm going to come in and bring some of these curves in a little bit further just so it gives more definition to the, the roundedness of the, the icing. Yum. Great. One thing also that Wayne T Tebow was known for doing was his strong shadows. The shadows in this cupcake drawing are coming up toward the viewer. So that means the light is coming from back here. And so this side of the cupcake is a little bit darker because it's on the shady side. And this side is a little bit lighter because it's on the bright side where the light is coming from. I think I'm going to make my sh bright side this way and my shadows this way. So my shadows are going to be going back behind. Um, quite often he used blue for shadows. So I'm going to copy that idea and put some blue behind each cupcake going in the same direction because my light is coming from here. As soon as you start adding shadows, um, it also helps create that illusion of um, depth or something being more round or more 3D. It makes it uh, pop off the page a little bit more just by adding the shadows. So this shadow is sort of going off the edge of the page, but that's okay. So we've added some shadows, and this one's going behind this cupcake here and there. There are the shadows. Wait, I forgot one detail. My cupcake liners need those ridges. Good. So I'm going to do this cupcake here, and I'm going to demonstrate how to do the shading and the coloring, and then the rest is up to you. You'll have to do the rest on your own. Let's see. I think I'll do like a pink frosting. So I'm going to find colors that are similar like this pink and this uh, magenta, this red, and I'm going to get started. Okay, so I already said that the shadows are on this side, so this side will be darker and this side will be lighter. So I'm going to start, I'm going to go right down the middle and I'm going to color real nice with the pink, nice and strong with the pink. But on this side, I'm going to color just a little bit lighter because this is the side that has the light hitting it. And I'm going to keep coloring nice and dark on this side because I'm going to use this other darker pink, this magenta, to try to make my shadows. Well, this magenta is not much darker. Let's see. Let me try this. Hmm. Yes. Let's try this red violet. Oh, yeah, that's going to work. So I'm going to color a little bit darker on this side because this is the side that has the shadows. And I'm coloring around, around this curve where the icing would be curved. And I'm coloring on this edge on the back side and bringing it around and just gradually making it a little softer as I get towards the middle. And that gives that um, great illusion that this cupcake is fluffy with icing on top. So I have the really light side and the medium in the middle and then the darker on the back where the shadow is because light is hitting on this side. Okay, so hmm, what color? Okay, I'm going to make the bottom of this part um, orange. So I'm going to grab this orange and red orange and I'm going to start again really light here and color a little bit darker in the middle and keep going with the darker to the end. So I keep it light on this side and then it's a little bit darker from the middle over to the back side where the shadow will be. So now I'm going to use this red orange or to make the shadowed part of the cupcake line. So this is going to be a little bit darker and I'm just blending it in. I'm starting off really dark on the outer edge and then as I get closer to the middle, I color a little bit lighter and blend it with the orange that's already there. So you see how that works? See how that works? That's how Wayne Tebow made those cupcakes look like you could just pick them up off of the painting and take a big bite. Well, I hope you had fun with that. I hope you get a chance to make something sweet. 
a sweet still life and use your strong shadows and your rich colors to make it really look like something you can just grab and eat. Remember, I always say this. I always say that art makes you smart. And by thinking about shadows and where they line up and drawing forms that are more 3D, that's helping your brain grow. I'm Mrs. M. I enjoy drawing with you every time. Thanks. Come back and draw with me again.